Welcome to Three Cents with me, Josh Barrow. Let's start with my three cents, the three things you need to know about what happened in the world economy this week, the second week of February 2015. Retail sales released on Thursday were weaker than expected, falling 0.8% last month. Of course, that drop was heavily driven by falling gas prices. But even after you exclude cars and gasoline, sales rose just 0.2 points on the month, compared to expectations of 0.4. What this means is Americans have been saving much of that discount at the pump, not spending it on other stuff. Weak consumption may translate to less economic growth than we've been expecting. On the bright side, retail sales still look very strong over the last year. Spending on things other than gas is up about 6% from a year ago. Spending in restaurants and bars is up 11%, so it seems Americans are finding something to celebrate. But here's one thing people aren't buying, electric cars. On Wednesday, Tesla missed its sales and earnings estimates by a wide margin. It delivered only 9,834 cars in the fourth quarter, below expectations of 11,200. As a result, it lost $108 million in the quarter, up from a loss of $16 million in the last quarter of 2013. Tesla is basically a bet on the future of electric power, that one day we'll all be driving electric cars. As gas prices fall, there's more reason to worry about that bet. Finally, to another struggling company. Bloomberg reports American Express is losing, losing some of its ultra-wealthy customers. MX's Platinum and Centurion card, popularly known as the Black Card, have long been the go-to charge cards for the wealthy elite, but competitors like J.P. Morgan and Barclays have been taking market share with high-end cards that have similar cachet and richer rewards programs. But even as it loses its grip on the high end of the market, Amex has been expanding its offerings aimed at middle-income Americans for years.